Hi, this is Doug Horst with uh, the adventures of Dad, Pop Pop, and the Entrepreneur. Today, we're going to learn about fossils. Uh, this will be an educational film for anybody interested in fossils. And I have 11 different fossils to go over today. We're going to start right off with the uh, trilobite. 600 million years ago, in the mid-Cabrian period, the creeping creatures under the sea were the oldest of sea life. Trilobites had three lobes and three body divisions. When its body grew too large for its shell, it flaked off the free cheeks and climbed out to grow another one. Fossilized and harvested in Miller County, Utah, in Wheeler Shale. Okay. Our next ones are shark teeth. And uh, try to get close up for you, best I can. There we go. Shark tooth. The Miocene period supplied bony fishes and sharks in great numbers. They are descendants of early uh, placoderms that lost the power to produce bone. As they inverted to skeletons of cartilage, the white shark ancestors reached a length of 60 feet. Fossil teeth are abundant in many areas of the U.S. and other countries. This is coral. And corals are part of a family called simple water animals that do not have circulatory or nervous systems. See and I'm not, I'm sorry, see and the gnomes are included in this group. My specimen is branching coral that attach themselves to the skeletons of their parents, a subclass having a wrinkled skin. This is from Joab, Colorado, Utah, Mississippian period. Get these better for you. Here we go. Ammonite. Fossils established the time relationship between rocks of different areas. During the Triassic period, there were lots of volcanic activity with marine life. Cephalopods were probably the most beautiful of all shell animals. Fossil remains can be found from the Davian period. Crinoid. In, in, invertebrate fossils are animals that lack backbones. Most lived in the sea and are most are now extinct. The crinoid looked like a flower on a jointed stalk in the Mississippian period. The class of echinoderms also includes starfish, sand dollars, and sea cucumbers. This specimen is part of the stem. Algae. Precambrian is the earliest known fossil ushering in the development of earth, sea, and atmosphere. Algae is the only plant life that left a record of that time. Various kinds of seaweed are now a higher form. You are lucky to own I am lucky to own a representation from Miller County, Utah, Willer Formation. Sorry about that. Try to get this good for you. This is petrified wood. Fossils are the remains of a prehistoric life Evidence of happenings and living things that would not know that we would not know about. Plants can also petrify. When a tree has been buried for millions of years, the hard parts are replaced by silica and can become a fossil with preserved knots and wood rings. My specimen could have lived in the Eocene period. Brachiopod. When you gather seashells on the beach, you will notice 
lampshells that are hinged at one end like the ancient brachiopod. The soft-bodied animal would stick its anchoring stem out of the opening of its shell and lay in wait for food. From the Devian to the Perimian period, specimens are dated. Sea Urchin During the Jurassic period, the sea flourishes with gigantic creatures. The 10 to 12 foot long I don't know if I can say this. It's the Cesaurus and Plesiosaurus with four large flippers were the masters. Some of the ammonites grew to six feet in diameter. Among the host of sea life were the echinoids of, or sea urchins, a phylum of marine animals covered with fixed limy plates or spines of the Echodermin family. These creatures have a well-developed nervous system. The world of sea urchins are found in many periods, from Ordovician down through time, at least Miocene, a span of 400 years. A gastropod. Gastropods are of the Mollusk's Molex class including snails and garden slugs. The shells coiled and spiraled with ridges and shorals, house, housing a little soft-bodied creature tucked inside and a big, big foot that crept along the sea floor. In the Cretaceous period, this specimen was deposited in Iron, Colorado, Utah, Tropic Formation. And last but not least, which I think is, is the prettiest, let me get a good shot of this because I really like this one. This is the Orthoceroids. The common name for this phylum, Mollusca, is Orthocerus. Some people called it the pag Pagoda Stone, class Cephalopoda. The informal name is Nautiloid. This fossil is 400 million years old from the Sahara Desert in Morocco. Its nearest living relatives are the Nautilus squid and the cuttlefish. That ends uh, my series on fossils. I hope you found this educational, and I just want to thank you. Have a great day.